House stream round two. And I'm gonna be doing something that I have never done before, I don't think, on social media. I wanna do a shopping haul because I went shopping today. Also, back tattoo, reveal. And a lot of people hate it, I'm aware of that, okay? But I don't care, actually, at all. And let me, let me tell you what, here, well, first let me show you. Don't mind the blood. <sighs> so this is, it's like a target. It's a big target, right? I think that when people see it, they like picture it on just like a random person. But you know, with my tattoos, I get my tattoos because I think of myself as like a fucking video game character, okay? I want my tattoos to be like interesting. You know what I'm saying? And people are like, oh my God, why is it wobbly? Um, I'm fucking sorry that your only fucking tattoo is um across your dead grandma or something. But you know what? It's called art, bitch. It's called, <laughs> I mean, it's just what I like. You know, it's just like what I wanted. The lines are like that because I asked for the lines to be like that. Like this is completely like in my vision of what I wanted. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, people, <laughs> I think it's fucking sick. I think it's an odd tattoo, but like, that's why I like it. I think that like a year from now, people will look at it and be like, oh yeah, that's like, the Jake Weber tattoo. Like that's like his tattoo. That's like, when you think of that tattoo, when you see this tattoo, it's like, you know, it's like my tattoo. You know, like that's what I wanted. I wanted like a tattoo that's like mine. So obviously people are gonna see it and think it's like something unusual, but that's what I wanted. I wanted something to be my tattoo. And the fact that people were so all over the place was pretty much exactly what I wanted. I want people to look at it and be like, Whoa, what the fuck? This is my tattoo. You know, it's me. I like it, okay? And for the people that just don't understand, you're a fucking turd and I don't care. People are like, oh my God, your artist fucked you up. Dude, my artist does all my tattoos. They fucking crush it every single time. And like, look at this one. You see it close up? It's the exact same style. It's purposeful. You fucking stinkers. Yeah, also, sorry, this is, I got like, I got wine on my shirt. I took a swig of wine before I went to the bar the other day. Yeah, it's covered in blood right now. I hope that can come out of my shirt. But let's do the uh, shopping haul. I went shopping today and I got, a couple jackets, I'm very excited because every time I buy a leather jacket, I, I make the mistake and I buy them online and then they fit like a fucking, like this. And I fucking hate when my jackets are like this, dude. Like, you know, like a tuxedo, like what am I, Minecraft Steve? Can you meow for me? I mean, um, okay, wait one second. Let me think. Is that good? Good boy. Okay, you know what? I actually take that back. I think you guys just made it weird. Good boy. Also, I've been having like the biggest burger hyperfixation. Like, dude, all I fucking think about is burgers. Like, I'm gonna get a burger after this. You know, I always have my hyperfixation food and right now it's burgers. Like, I can't stop eating burgers. What's your guys' favorite burger? I need to see this. Whataburger? Oh my God, you were smoking crack. I feel like that's Whataburger's target audience is people that smoke crack. I mean, I've had a Whataburger before. I mean, I feel like you have to be on crack to enjoy it. I'm just saying, I'm sorry to all the Texans, but like that shit is booty cheeks. So this is my, I got this from Wasteland. This is my haul that I'm doing. So this one, I got like this one because it's sleek. Like I said earlier, um, every leather jacket I've ever owned has been so bulky. So if you guys ever wanted a leather jacket, like get a used one because you also have to break it in and make sure to get it like in person, okay? Because you never know how it's gonna fit. You never know the weight of it, you know? Never buy a leather jacket online. So this one, it's like super sleek. Look at the, like the texture on it. I mean, it's almost kind of like snaky though. It's not like normal texture, you see that? Oh, like I love this one. It fits me so, oh my God. I'm just super hyped up about it because I've never had a leather jacket fit me like so well, you know? Like it like goes right to where I want it to on my arms, you know? And look at that, look at that thing. That thing's fucking sick. The only thing that sucked was like, I didn't know how much it was until I looked at the receipt and it's $400. So I fucked up there. I guess I just have to wear it a lot, you know? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to just get my money's worth. I'll wear it to like bed and I'll wear it in the shower. I've never had a leather jacket fit me like so perfectly before. So I'm pretty hyped up about it, I must say. Dr. Pepper break. The Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. I would slap this on a bitch's ass. I drink this shit like it's my fucking job. I found out about it yesterday. I, I this is like my eighth can. Oh my God. Oh my 
god. Okay, this one um, <laughs> was more of a normal Bryce jacket. This one was 150. I mean, I guess that's actually still expensive, but it's leather, you know, it's a leather jacket, so it makes sense. This one's like a lot more light, you know? It's a little more sleek, less punky. I think this one actually fits me maybe a little more better. Look at the texture on that. It's a very snaky texture. So I like them both. They're like two different styles. So I was just like, dude, you know, I just have to get them both. But uh, wow, you know, I actually don't spend a lot of money on myself. So, you know, I deserve it. I'm a good boy. And then I got this. I mean, this is just, uh, this is just Levi's. So nothing too crazy here, but I love it. This is, well, how much was this? Oh, 20 bucks. Fucking steel. This is from the same place. So it's a fucking steel. I used to be a size large and now I'm a size small. So most of my clothes don't really fit me anymore. And like, even the leather jackets that I had, and now they're like, you know, kind of re like really bulky on me. I didn't really realize that I was like a size small until like recently I was like, oh shit. Like I started like just wearing the clothes that I usually wore and they're like, why are they, I'm like, why are these so baggy on me? But check this shit out. So it's like a, a jean vest and I just like would wear it with, I'll just wear it with shirts underneath it. <laughs> but I think it's sick. Like, dude, what the fuck, dude? This thing is sick as fuck. $20, dude, what a fucking steal. Just has kind of like a grimy feel to it, you know? Yeah, damn, dude, I, fuck, I fucking love this thing, dude. I cannot wait to wear it out. But that was, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> That's my haul. I never really go thrifting. I'm I'm pretty much a Depop whore. I just like Depop all day, but usually I don't wear about 80% of the items that I get shipped to me because it usually like fits wrong. I'm gonna start thrifting more. I mean, Depop, like Depop is just like, you know, it's kind of like a game, you know, you never know if you're gonna like something or not. But I feel bad for people that like, thrift that maybe don't live like i mean i live in la so it has like really good thrift like a lot of cool stuff thrift stores that are dedicated like specifically to your style and i just like dude i i hate going to thrift stores where like 90 percent of the clothes are like junk you know it's like a high school shirt you know from like a high school like where the fuck is the swag like who is buying like youth group shirts and stuff. Like why the fuck is this for sale at Goodwill? Like no one wants that. Also shout out to Prime. They send me drinks for free. Oh dude. But like, I'm gonna be honest, low gang. This one tastes like fucking piss. Ugh! It's lemon. It actually tastes like Logan's piss. And I'm like, I told myself that I was gonna stop drinking energy drinks. I literally threw out all my monsters. I'm gonna be honest, like I threw all my monster out. I'm like, I need to start fresh. I'm gonna die. I drink like five a day. And then, yeah, I get, I get shipped free prime. So this isn't helping my case. I hope they don't stop shipping things to me. Okay, I don't mind it. You know, I like it. I like to be pampered. I didn't stop drinking this, dude. I've already had three today. Anytime I like anything, like I obsess over it, it's a problem. So, you know, energy drinks, like, you know, if I like energy drinks, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna drink a lot. I need to work on myself, you know? No more energy drinks, I'm gonna try to cut that out. And I know a lot of people are mad at me because they saw a cigarette in my hand. You know, I'm working on, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure things out. You know, I'm a human being at the end of the day. I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to, Oh, I'll, you know, I'll get there one day, guys. You know, I'm a, I'm a dirty little stinker. Maybe, maybe I need a spanking. I don't know. I'm sorry. And yes, I have seen the Johnny and Doja Cat beef. I guess you could say things are getting pretty crazy. I was like, dude, why? Why did you do that? I, like, I don't know. I'm drunk. But when I saw the things he was coming, I was laughing my ass off. He's like, do you like signing into accounts? Do you like VeggieTales? I mean, <laughs> It was funny. It was funny. Yeah, I don't think she likes Johnny. God bless. God bless his heart. Most unexpected beef of 2024, let me tell you. Shave? I know, I need to. You know what I hate? Look, this is... I have no hair right here. Like right here, you see hair? And when it looks straight forward, you see that empty spot right there. It gives me a double chin, but it's not real. You know, I feel like that's why I like shave clean like every day. Cause like I have this random giant bald patch right there. I think it's because one time when I was growing up, I fell off a chair and I had to get stitches in it. I think that's what it was from. Also, I fucked up my nipple piercing. It's like, it's like infected. I blame Tara, honestly. I blame Tara cause she kept smacking me with the purse in the video. So actually, no, I don't blame Tara. It hurt when she did it because it was already infected. Fair warning, if you guys ever want to get a nipple piercing, that shit like, it takes so long to heal. Like it takes like a year to heal. Like this one's like done, but like this one, it's take, it take, there's no way to like avoid it getting fucked up. It sucks fucking ass dick. Haircut soon. You know what's actually funny is I got a haircut like three days ago. I just have a lot of hair. It's because I showered, you know, like 
when I use shampoo, my hair gets so fucking crazy, and then I give it like a week to, ugh. I give it like a week to tame down. And then I, so I shampoo like once a week. It's normal. Don't let people tell you that it's not. I think Kim K does it or something. People think I like use product and stuff. I don't. There's nothing in my hair, okay? It's just like how it's cut, you know? And sometimes I need to straighten it because this shit goes like, you know? Oh, I do hairspray. I do a little hairspray, you know? Because I gotta go, you know, it gets flat. I need to go get a burger. If you guys want to be in this live chat right here, they go to twitch.tv slash Jake Merch. You can shop my merch, jakemerch.com. And pre-save. Ecstasy. Me and Johnny do some. Love you guys so much. Peace.